Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another gaming video. And today I'm playing a little bit more of Remnant in UEVR with the Corsair mod. Now, I am playing in first person, as you can see. I've messed around with the config and I've got a pretty good first person experience. Now, I am playing on the gamepad because... Well, the controllers do work, but it feels a little bit smoother and a little bit better, a little bit more intuitive on the gamepad. So like I say, if you want to play this on mouse and keyboard, it actually plays best on mouse and keyboard, strangely enough. It does play good on the Quest controllers, or, well, the VR controllers, but I'm playing on the gamepad, just because it's a little bit easier for the buttons, so you can dodge and crouch and change weapons a little bit on the easier side okay so I'm playing on an RX 6600 XT GPU a Ryzen 9 3900 X CPU I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM and I'm playing on a Quest 3 headset now I had a, a hell of a time down here the other day so it is still pretty challenging and the fact that you've got the aiming's a little bit imperfect it does add that little bit extra difficulty to it so let's just go down right so i've just had a little bit of a mess around with some of the settings turning down post processing and effects right so let's get in there see if i can get any further than i did the other day which probably isn't going to be likely likely now, normally this is like a Souls-like action game, but the way I find this... Hey? I find this quite horror-like now. It's so good, but it's so challenging though as well it is. So many enemies. Let's go a different way, I'm gonna go. The aiming's a little tricky, like I say, but you can pretty much judge it mostly anyway. That's a very nice. It's a whole style. Oh, 
Where's more gun gone? Like I said, this isn't perfect, but considering how good a game Remnant is anyway, it's nice to be able to play this, and you get it in first person. Which is absolutely excellent. You're not coming down, you can die up there. Yep, apparently that is all they've got. I mean, usually I'm not very good at Souls-like games anyway, but this is Remnant. And there is Remnant 2, and I'm going to be giving that a check out, I believe, soon. It's definitely well worth it. I mean, I could sit and do live streams of this and play this a load. Because this is great, but I'm not sure whether it's something you guys would really want to see. Well, anyway. Oh. Is that a checkpoint? That looks like a checkpoint. But it's not too big a deal, really. It just adds a little bit more realism, maybe, to the game. Oh, we've pissed him off now. Whoa! I managed to dodge one. This is absolutely excellent. The more I play of it, the more I want to continue on. So just to note, I am using a Crosshair mod here. And although, like I say, it isn't a perfectly native VR game, because let's face it, it's not a native VR game. But if you want to play AAA games in VR, then UE VR is the way to go. And believe me, there are some excellent games, this being one of them. I could honestly sit here and just play this for hours in VR. If you have played Remnant before and you'd like to play it in VR, this setup may apply to Remnant 2. Do not hold me to that though because I have not actually tried Remnant 2 with this setup. But apparently it should work. So what you need to do first of all is join the flat screen to VR modding discord. Now there will be a link in the description for this video on how to get there. Okay, then what you do then is if you join particular channels and you need to join the UEVR, well the Unreal Engine VR channel, go down and look for games and in games search for Remnant from the Ashes. Now if you click on the name there and pins, the pin messages just in the top right here, it should show you a little bit of a few links where you can get things like profiles and that kind of thing and also particular mods. But what you want to do 
is look towards the bottom for a conversation that I've had with CJ117, who's made an excellent mod for this game. Now, there's been a lot of problems. You can't get six degrees of freedom or three degrees of freedom, but this mod feels like it has solved a lot of the issues. So what you would do is you download this mod, and as it says here, it's pretty much got the instructions spelled out for you. You download the mod, but you also need to download one or two other programs. And if I just come back to this, there should be a link up here. Right, it says here for the UE4SS, either this or the Unreal Mod Loader. Now, I've gone with the Unreal Mod Loader, and I've downloaded this. And I've extracted it, and it's not in my downloads folder anymore because I've already done this this process. So if I just go to my desktop, I've got the Unreal Mod Loader set here. Now, what you need to do, as the instructions do say, just down here, like I say, it's pretty straightforward. Is first of all download and unzip the Remnant Crosshair mod, which is just here. And then what you do then, if you go and find the game Remnant from the Ashes and go into Browse Local Files. And if we just minimise that down so we can read this as we're going through. And it says download and unzip Remnant Crosshair mod into your Remnant from the Ashes folder, which I've done oh, just here. So if we just download this, continue to download, like I said, I've already done this. Now it will tell you it's a suspicious file, but you can download it anyway. And as it says there, if we just open it, the Remnant Crosshair zip, unzip the file, I'll just extract it to its location. And when that's done, if we go inside, you'll see it's got binaries and content in it. Now if we go into I'll just close that down. Right, well, as you can see, if I go into my game file here, well, let me just show you that again. Right click, manage, browse local files, minimize Steam down. And as you can see, there's the remnant files. You go into the remnant one there, and then I believe you copy these two files over into here. So if you drop those two files, binaries and content, into your game folder, that's the mod installed. So if I just close that down and close that down and minimize that back. Right, so as it says here, we've done all this. But what we need to do now, well, what I've done, I've used the Unreal Mod Loader. So if we just scroll back up and find the link for that. And then you download this. So if we go to the latest version, it's a couple of years old. Unreal Mod Loader. Click on that. And that should download up here. And then, again, oh, if I can find the button for extract, extract the file where it is. And there we go. And we've now got the Unreal Mod Loader, as you can see, just there. I mean, I'm just going to delete these because I don't need these in my library anymore. So that's, that's that. Right. So if I've just popped that down. So, yeah, this is the actual file itself. So what you would do now is you double click on the Unreal Mod Loader. And it will say, as you can see, waiting for game window. So then if we double click on Remnant from the Ashes... The game should load up. And as you can see, that command window has sorted itself all out. Press any button. Play game. And we'll just go into the game in flat screen to start with. Just a standard UEVR version will do. So if I just pull up UEVR. Uh, 
and there's your EVR and we'll just hit the XE restart as administrator and that's it it's loaded up now I've sort of made my own profile here so what we do is look for the game win shipping there we go and what I am gonna do let me export this config in just a moment let's inject that's it the game will load up okay so UEVR started up we'll just do the basic things Recent horizon, center view, standing origin and standing height. Now I like to have the UI follows the view and I'll zoom it out a little bit to minimize it and then bring it back in so it doesn't block up and the too much of the screen and you can see the edges. And go into Unreal, nothing needs messing there, input nothing needs messing around with there and in camera make sure you have decouple pitch enabled now because of the profile i've done here i'll just click on main and this will jump into first person so what i can do is export this profile or better still show you what i did so if we go into common objects acknowledge porn and as you can see here Oh, well, somewhere. Is it components? And I've removed all the skeletal meshes. All these here. So, as you just saw, let's just do that again. If you go into common objects, acknowledge porn, and then components again, look for all of these skeletal meshes here. And as you can see, everything's deleted. But what I've done is the skeletal mesh for the head. I've attached it to the head and that is why I'm in a perfect position here for a first person perspective right anyway enough of that that's what I've done with UEVR so let me just move back now you may find this plays better with the gamepad honestly it's actually better with mouse and keyboard but you don't need to do that because the the gamepad's got all the buttons in the nice place you can play on the controllers as well it does work on there but like I said the controls might be a bit different to what you're used to but hey if you want to play on it that's entirely up to you it works on all of them right anyway the mod itself now what you do is you press F1 and in the top left corner of your screen next to them the game menu you should have the unreal mod loader so what you do is click on logic mods the little tab there the rem crosshair mod and make sure the enable is checked and that's it press f1 and then f1 again to go to the menu oh and that's it and for me i'm in law this it makes it feel more realistic you don't need a crosser you've got your eyes and you've got your hand to eye coordination it'll take you a couple of shots but you'll get used to it i did and it does make it more challenging anyway i hope you've liked this video and i hope you found it helpful so what I'll do is I'll put all the appropriate links in the description for the Unreal Mod Loader. Also for the actual Crosshair Mod, well a link to the Discord where you can get the Crosshair Mod. I may even also upload this profile, so if you want to get that, you can do. And this is just to play the game in first person. Honestly, I've shown you how to do it anyway, it's that easy, but if you're a bit late and don't want to do that, then well I wouldn't blame you. And I'm going to put it in the Discord channel as well, or we'll do it in a couple of days. So, otherwise, thanks for watching. This is Headset VR. This is how to get remnants from the ashes playable using a first-person perspective and also the crosshair mod. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, found it helpful. Like, subscribe, all that kind of thing. Post any comments in the description, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.